Hey up everybody. Right, a while back then, I prob I'm probably going back in probably maybe one or even two years, I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but I made this uh, replica Exicut saw here. Well, when I made that, one of my uh, followers that watches my videos donated me this, this one, it, it were all in pieces and it were worn out. And I renovated that, that's in another video. So this is in one video, or a number of videos, this is in another number of videos being renovated. Now, what my problem is here, and I didn't foresee this when I made it, when I, when I made this one and renovated this one, I had to make new bars and a new blade holder for both of them. Well, what I had on stock was some uh, 303 stainless hexagonal bar. The correct size across flats. So I used that. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever bolted stainless bolts together and stainless nuts. Stainless and stainless are known for grabbing old. And if you've ever had a stainless nut stuck on a stainless bolt, you'll have a right job getting it off. Uh, in fact, you'll probably not get it off because they just get old and that's it. Uh, so, because these are stainless, they've been working fine. But all of a sudden, this one started playing up, which I use more than this one. This started playing up, and it was it were, it were quite fierce actually. As it were cutting, all of a sudden, all the armour jump up, everything is seized up, and the, and the uh, belt would s slip on the pulley. Well, that was fine on this one, but you know, it's took me a while to, to fathom this out, to be honest. I must have been looking at this with blinkers on. So, anyway, I stopped using that for a while and I went on to this, and then lo and behold, <laughs> Exactly the same thing happened with this one after I'd used it for a few months. But this one's got a chain driven drive uh, with a chain, uh, sprockets and a chain on. So when that grabs hold, it shoots this up. Imagine it's soaring, soaring its work there. It shoots up, locks up and the motor jams up. Uh, so like I said, yeah, I've, I've been mulling this round in my head for a while now, and when I took the uh, the actual blade off, I noticed the, the uh, slides have gone all rough. And I didn't notice this before because I'm, I'm all spraying oil on them and it's covered in oil and grease, so you, you couldn't actually see it. Anyway, I'm starting to waffle here, aren't I? So basically... What's happened is stainless followers and blade holder on stainless arm is not compatible. Uh, it's just grabbing old. It's not bedded in and it's grabbing old, just like a stainless nut and a stainless bolt would if, you ever, if you've ever had one of them stuck together. So uh, to cut a long story short, then I've just modified this one and it's working fine now. This one ain't now. If I turn that on, it'll just grab hold and seize up. I'll show you what I've done. And uh, right, so what I've done then, I've took the blade holder, the blade holder off. I've took the uh, top clamp off with the blade slides on. I've milled a pocket out in the hexagon on this side and on that side where it slides on this. I've done the same with the blade holder, milled a pocket out and I've inserted some brass. Um, just sixteenth brass plate really, cut to size and then inserted and screwed into it. You can't see it. And I'm not taking it off, but you'll see what I'm doing when I do this one. So now I've got brass 
on top and bot on both sides of the top. I've got brass on both sides of the bottom on the hexagon where it slides, and that's cured it. So what I'm going to do then? I'm going to modify my other saw to the same spec as this one, and then you'll you'll see in video what I'm doing exactly. Um, I'm not going to dismantle this one again. So let's crack on then and I'll get this modification done. Right, you can see where stainless has been grabbing on both, on all the four surfaces and on the slide, on the actual arm the slider and the blade holder so when that were fully in and all greased up I couldn't actually see what was happening
Well, I think that little modification has been successful. Uh, yeah, it's not grabbing anymore. So that's working fine now, I think. Uh, so uh, if you found that useful, informative, enjoyable, give me a thumbs up uh, and a subscribe. A thumbs up will help my channel along and I'd appreciate that. Uh, and I'll catch you on next video then. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll catch you next time. So uh, I'll sign off for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.